Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on something super, super fun. We are going to be talking about Hispanic Heritage Month, but with a twist, with a makeup twist. Okay, so I have my little senorita uh, earrings here. They're red, right? Like the little dancing emoji chick. Okay, if I had a red dress, I would have put it on, but I really didn't have anything red in my closet. Thanks guys for tuning in. I have my video up just a little bit earlier today. Um, and the reason for that is because I'm collaborating with my really good friend, Susanna Torres here on YouTube. She will also be working on Latin owned brands. We will both be featuring the Artist Couture palette um, but doing different looks with them and then we'll use other latin owned brands and talk about them a little bit i love susanna we've collaborated before on a spanish video actually featuring the tiny marvels palette with sydney grace and the mel thompson collaboration um, that's how we got together that's how we met and we've just been very friendly ever since i love talking to her about all things makeup and youtube and she's such a genuine and loving friend, she's very supportive, always gives me great advice, and I'm just so blessed to um, really have her in my circle because this stuff on YouTube is hard. I will leave her information and her video link down below so that you can check it out after mine. Another video that I want you guys to pay attention to is the video that will be after Susanna's video, which is Makeup and Mimosas, or Mimosas and Makeup with Beauty and the Frizz. If you like this video, please make sure and give me a like, Comment down below with your favorite Latin owned beauty company, whether it's an indie brand or a well-known beauty brand so that we can check them out and make sure and subscribe. Uh, we will be announcing the 600 subscriber giveaway on today's video. It is the Hourglass mini palette and the lip duo from the new holiday collection. But um, it was a 600 subscriber giveaway that started last week and now we're almost at 800 subscribers. So my 1000 subscriber giveaway is coming. It will be epic, it will be huge. Just to give you guys a little bit of insight, a um, thousand dollar box for a thousand subscribers I thought was fitting. I don't know. <laughs> There will be all luxury brands, some drugstore that are my absolute favorites, and so I'm very, very happy that we're getting so close to it. It would be amazing to get this box to someone before Christmas, so continue to share, like, comment, subscribe, and so now let's just get into it. I am so excited to bring you today a little piece of my history. It's Hispanic Heritage Month, and it launched September 15th. Uh, a couple of friends and I have been talking about doing a full Latin-owned beauty brand video, but just a couple of days ago, my mother-in-law texted me and she said, hey, it's Hispanic Heritage Month. Are you doing something Latin owned, like Latin owned beauty? Latin and so when she texted me with a video idea, I was so, so proud because I love the community that we're building. I love each and every one of you, but when I hear that a family member is watching my videos or that's interested to see what's next or is giving me ideas on videos, that like literally like fills my entire heart. Now, on top of that, it's my mother-in-law and I think a lot of you guys know that my mom passed away last year and it has been tough, but I, the love that I have for this woman, how much I really want to make her proud is just so important to me. I met my husband when I was 16. He was uh, 14 and a half. <laughs> and so I, I, she's been in my life for a really long time. And so um, it's extremely important to me to have you know, her approval for her to be proud of what I'm doing. And so anyway, she's the one that brought me this video idea. So this video is dedicated not only to mi gente, but also my mother-in-law, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. <laughs> I hope you like the video. So let's get started. Today's video is in collaboration with my friend, Susanna Torres. She is a beautiful, beautiful creator here on YouTube. She's also a Latina. She has been doing it a lot longer than I have and has a bigger channel, but we bonded over doing a collab uh, last month 
in Spanish on the Tiny Marvels palette. I will link that up above if you're interested. It is in Spanish, but it was something that was so important to us because at the time that we worked on this collab, they were getting ready to restock the Tiny Marvels palette and there had been a ton of videos that were made in English, all sorts of very beautiful looks by very talented creators, but we thought, hey, there's a restock coming. Our, our, our people need to know how good this palette is. And so that's how the group of us got together and that's how I got to know Susanna Torres. Susanna Torres is amazing. Her channel focuses on high-end luxury beauty. She's extremely knowledgeable. She's an ex-makeup artist. She's not in the industry anymore, but she's still very much a makeup enthusiast with a deep, deep knowledge of makeup, of formulas and she's extremely talented with her looks. So I am so proud to be collaborating with her on such an important video for me. Um, a lot of you also know that I have uh, quite a few Spanish videos on my channel and Every time I do a video in Spanish, it's truly a just a labor of love. When my mom was still here with us, she passed away a year ago, um, her and I would sit and talk all the time about how I should start my YouTube channel. And so the way that I feel is that if my mom was here, I would still make those videos in Spanish so that she could be a part of my journey and that, so that she could be excited about watching my content. And so Spanish videos, my Latin people, my Latin community is something that is so, so important to me. I want everybody around the world to hear about the good stuff, the bad stuff, you know, what works, what doesn't. And so obviously with Mi Gente Latina, I want to make sure that they get the best of the best too. So please make sure and go check out Susana Torres' video immediately after this so that you can get just a different spin on Latin beauty. She'll be using some different brands. And so because of that, we want to make sure that you also check that out. Susanna, thank you so much for collaborating with me. I am so proud not only to be working with you today for the second time, but also to call you a friend. You truly support me. You genuinely want what's best for me and my channel. And I just love that. I love that we can be women supporting women and that we truly stand by community over competition. So anyway, love you girl. And I can't wait to watch your video. Okay, so I brought you in a little closer. Now, before I get started with the application portion of this video, I also want to tell you about another very important friend to me. Her name is Rocio. Her channel is Maquisienta. Here she is. I actually met her during the collaboration for Tiny Marvels in Spanish, and she just happened to share our video with her community, and I reached out to say thank you. It turns out that she lives in the same town in Texas where I am, and we just instantly connected over that, over YouTube, over makeup, and have definitely developed our friendship over time. And I'm so, so happy to be connected to her. But the reason that I mention her is because she has an amazing series on her channel called Maki Historias. And again, her channel is in Spanish, but it's basically like behind the beauty-ish type vibe where she tells you the background of a beauty brand or the beauty brand founders and like what their story is, how they came to be, how they are here today, and just kind of gives you a behind the scenes look into those brands and those founders. Well, today I thought that that would be a genius way to give you a little bit of insight into our Latin owned beauty community and just give you a little bit of background on the brands that I'm using. There's only four brands. I'll try to keep it very brief, but there's just so much amazing information that I found about each of them that I wanted to make sure and tell you what I was gonna do. I will be linking Rocio's channel, Maquisienta, down in the description box. If you speak Spanish, if you wanna learn Spanish, if you wanna learn how to create bomb, bomb eye looks because she is just so talented, make sure and go check her out. So the first brand that we will be working with is Beauty Blender. Now, when you think of Beauty Blender, I think you often think of this little guy here. I have the black pro one, but usually they're pink, right? I'll pop a picture up here. So Beauty Blender, this was their little claim to fame. However, I will be starting with their foundation. Their foundation is so beautiful. It's extremely blurring. It is like medium to full coverage, which I normally stay away from, but it's still very, very pretty. Such an airbrushed overall finish. So we'll start with this guy. I love the container that this comes in. It's just very different from what you see on the market. So it locks here in the back. This is how you lock it back here so that it doesn't dispense product when you're not ready for it. But you unlock it here 
And then it starts, you hold it at a 45 degree angle and then it starts dispensing product. So I'm going to dispense a little bit in my little tray so it comes with an automatic tray built in. I'm actually going to start by dabbing all over my face and starting with a brush and then finishing off for that airbrush effect with my beauty blender. And the reason that I wanna do that is A, that's typically how I do my foundation. But B, I want to also tell you that you will be hearing about another very amazing beauty brand on Susanna's channel, and this is Alamar Cosmetics. The founder is a really sassy, beautiful little Cuban, and I love Gabby, she's on Instagram. I'll link everybody's information down below. And um, I love this foundation brush. Before I became obsessed with the BK Beauty Foundation Brush, this was like my everyday go-to foundation brush. And again, you'll hear more about this brand on Susanna's channel. So let me tell you a little bit about Beauty Blender and how it came to be. The founder of Beauty Blender is somebody named Rea Ann Silva. She's of Mexican descent, her mom was Mexican, her dad was Irish and Portuguese, uh, but she does identify as Latina when you ask her is what she says. She started as a professional makeup artist. She actually went to school for fashion and fashion designing. And she, during college, got a job at the perfume counter and very quickly knew that she was very attracted to the makeup counter. And so that's where she started to learn a lot about her makeup, makeup skills, and she slowly transitioned into the makeup artistry world. She became a professional makeup artist, and um, that's actually, on the set is where Beauty Blender was originated. She was uh, one of the makeup artists that worked on the very first high definition TV show, and so she wanted to come up with an application technique that would look very airbrushed, and that would look good in high definition TV. And so she uh, started being very meticulous about the way that she was cutting out the shape of the, the sponge, um, how the sponge looked. She came up with the idea of wetting the sponge to create that airbrushed effect that she was looking for. And she worked really hard to perfect it. Now, she says that once she started noticing that her sponge was missing all the time from her makeup kit or the station where she was doing the actor's makeup, she kind of knew that she was onto something. Everybody loved that makeup sponge. She's worked on really amazing stuff, like she did makeup for Dr. Dre, for Tupac, for Moesha. Do you guys remember that show, Moesha? She also worked on a pretty iconic film that we know as Friday. So, you know, I knew, I knew right away that I loved her, you know? And so, um, yeah, that's who Rhea and Silva is and she's the CEO and founder of Beauty Blender. I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and just kinda stamp everything in. The concealer that I will be using is also Beauty Blender. This one I don't really have too much experience with. I bought it and then I didn't use it. It's really, really light on me, which is okay. We'll warm it up with a bronzer, but I wanted to stick with the same brand. Um, as we were preparing for the video, we really didn't have a lot of time, and so we wanted to stick with Latin-owned brands, and um, I just kind of went with it since Susanna will be using another very popular brand as of late. Okay, sorry, that was bothering me. It had a lot, it was super, super light. I didn't realize I had gotten that dark this summer. I mean, I hardly even go out, but um, I threw a little bit of deep bronzy on top just to kind of darken up the color a little bit, but now we are done with foundation and concealer. A little bit about the products. The foundation retails for $40. Again, extremely poor blurring. It is high coverage foundation. I would say medium to full coverage, and I really, really do love this foundation. The concealer is like a medium coverage. It doesn't dry out my under eye, which I absolutely love. And this one retails for $26. So again, Beauty Blender brand. Love that lady, she's kind of a G. And anybody that knows, loves, or has worked with Tupac is all right in my okay. book. So moving on to blush. Bronzer, I didn't have a Latin-owned beauty brand, but Susanna does on her channel, so make sure and go watch. Next, we're moving on to blush. The company that I'm using for blush is Melt Cosmetics. Now, I just recently used or mention this in my fall makeup look with Chantecaille and the Safari collection, so I'll link that up here. 
But Mel Cosmetics is actually a really, really awesome story as well. And I knew that I had to include them. Now Mel Cosmetics is a brand that I found through their Vida and Muerte palettes. I, um, those really, really looked so interesting to me, so beautiful. I loved the colors. I loved like the little goth spin and I never knew that they were a Latin owned company. Mel Cosmetics was founded in 2013 by Laura Arellano and Dana Bomar. Uh, Laura and Dana were friends. They they worked at beauty counters in Nordstrom and like one worked adjacent to the other and that's how they became friends. Um, that's where they picked up a lot of like their makeup skills and trades and all of that. Um, and so they got to talking. They worked together for several years. They got to talking. They both in one way or another wanted to start a beauty brand, but they really didn't know that the other one wanted to. And then slowly they started talking about their dreams and aspirations. And so they said, you know, we see a gap in the makeup industry and we should fill that. So literally one day they were sitting over brunch and they decided let's just do it like let's use our entire life savings and let's just do it and what they were talking about was creating very pigmented matte lipsticks they had recently become very fascinated with the matte lipstick formula and the gap that they saw in the industry was that there was no bold colors out there what i mean by bold is you know the green lipstick the blue lipstick the purple lipstick gray and so that was just not a thing that was available back in 2013, but it was something that they were passionate about. So they're like, why don't we just do it? So it was literally like one of those things where they decided at brunch and then went off to talk to labs, spent every penny they had doing this. And their thinking behind it was like, look, if for some reason we can't sell them online, then we'll just sell them out of our car. And that's the part of the story that got my attention. And what they said was pretty much like, hey, if we can't sell them online, then we're just gonna sell them Mary Kay status and just sell them out of our trunk. Like, at least we'll get our money back that way. And so for people that know me, you will laugh because you know that when I was 18, 19, I, I was on my own with my sister and I needed to make ends meet. And my second job that I picked up was selling Mary Kay. Like even back then, Mary Kay was my thing and I would go over to people's houses and do their makeovers and it was always like, hey, like, I feel like I'm helping people. Like, you know, just to see a housewife transformed by makeup and feel good about themselves and feel pretty, like, that's me helping people. And I never saw it as sales. Well, come to find out 20 years later, I've lived my entire life and my career has always been in sales. And I can always find the way that I'm helping people in the industry that I'm in. But that's what caught my attention was like, we'll sell those lipsticks, Mary Kay status. So these blushes are actually new. This one is in the shade Buzzkill and it comes with a blush and then a, like a shimmer topper. We're not gonna use the shimmer as a highlight today. We're only gonna use the blush portion because I have another very important highlighter coming up. But it's a beautiful fall shade. Um, I think that um, it can actually be used during spring and summer too, depending on how you use it with the shimmer. But it's really pretty peach, you know? But I love it, I love it. One of the things that I've heard in both stories that has been, um, that just kind of speaks to really who I am is just how hard they worked. Like, it was hard, you know? It wasn't easy to build these brands. It wasn't easy to get the word out there. It wasn't easy to make their dream come true, but they kept fighting, they kept pushing, and they were committed to their dreams. So that's something that I think also for people that know me personally know, like when Yadi is in hustle mode, get out of my way. You better get with my dream or get behind me because I am coming. And so like, that's just the spirit that I get from all of these stories that I'm learning about. Like they, they knew what they wanted, maybe not how to get there, but they were so laser focused that they're like, move out of my way because I'm coming, you know? So I love that about all the stories that I read and just how they were willing to do anything and everything to make this work. I know people that work their asses off across all ethnic backgrounds, all lines of business, all industries, but I think that's one thing about the Latin spirit is we're not technically from the US, depending on which history book you're reading, but like we come here with a dream. Our parents came here with a dream to succeed, the American dream, to own a house, to have a career, to send your kids off to college. And like most people will look at our Latin people and just say like, yeah, I think that that is a spirit that generally fits the mold of 
our ethnic background, like, you know, the labor workers in the fields that are picking strawberries and lettuce and produce and everything to keep America fed, like, that's the true essence of who we are. We work really, really hard. And so to see people realize their dreams in the makeup industry um, that share a similar tone of color as me, like, that's pretty amazing. That's a very inspiring feeling. Like, I can make it. I have a dream-ish. I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but I'm willing to work my ass off to get there. You know what I mean? This Mel Cosmetics blush, again, in the shade Buzzkill, retails for $39, and I love those girls. I wanna meet them one day. I think they're awesome. Moving on to another brand that I am just so obsessed with. Now, you know that Yachty likes to glow, Yachty likes shimmer, she likes glitter, she likes to just be a little extra. Well, this next brand embodies everything that I am, and it is Artist Couture. Artist Couture is also the palette that we will be featuring on our channels, but it's highlight time. And so I wanna talk to you a little bit about their Diamond Lights Finishers and their Diamond Glow Powder. The Diamond Glow Powder is the one that we'll be using as highlight today. And then this Diamond Lights Finisher, I will show you how to use it like Mac Daddy himself showed me how to use it in just a little bit. These retail for $27. The shade that I have is an Illuminati and Conceited. And they are just loose highlighter pigments. And oh my gosh, they are incredible. I only had one. I purchased it because I saw exactly how stunning and standout these highlighters were at Sephora one day. And I promised myself to go back for more and I just kind of never did. Well, recently, Artist Couture held a masterclass, but with a twist. So what they did is they put together a masterclass bundle and it had like their Supreme Nudes palette. It had a highlighter, a diamond glow highlighter. It had the diamond lights finisher, some lip products. I mean, it had a ton of stuff and I got to try a little bit more. So let me show you what these highlighters look like. This is in the shade Conceited and this is in the shade Illuminati. I think today we're gonna go with Illuminati. It's a little more golden, a little more icy. I'm going to go in with my Artist Couture a Fan Brush. This is another product that we got in our bundle. Let me tell you a little bit about Artist Couture. The CEO and founder of Artist Couture is Angel MacDaddy Marino. He is a makeup artist to the stars. Over the years has become very well respected in the makeup industry. He uh, calls his followers the glow getters because he's obsessed with highlight. He does it very, very well, and he just loves to be like popping and glowing and highlighty, and he is just amazing. Angel Marino was born July 10th, 1990. He always loved makeup. He always loved to be creative and artistic, um, but early on, his love was more in the dance. He loved to dance, he worked extremely hard at it, and he really tried to make it in the dance industry. And he says that when he realized that he really wasn't gonna make it, like he did a couple tours, but he never made it big time, big time, he started teaching dance. And when he started teaching dance, he was very, very committed to the people that he was instructing and choreographing for and all of that. Most of the time, he would also do makeup for the dancers. Um, to me, it kind of sounded like they were younger dancers, but he was helping them with makeup and getting ready for shows. Eventually, he would end up like, blinging out the moms, making them look super fabulous for the, the shows that they were doing. And so more and more, he got better and better with his makeup skills. When he realized that he loved makeup so much, he actually went to go work for Mac. And that's how the name Mac Daddy comes because he was in the store, he heard a song that said Mac Daddy this or Big Daddy that, and he's like, hey, I'm Mac Daddy. And so that's where his nickname comes from. After five years of working for Mac, really honing in on his artistic makeup skills, he kind of went off on his own, did makeup artistry as a professional MUA for celebrities, and so that's eventually how he got started. He's such a hard worker, and one of the things that I saw in one of the interviews that he did was that they asked him, like, who's your hero? And he's like, my mom. My mom's my hero. You know, she raised my brother and I, you know, working super, super hard. That's where I get my work ethic from. Like, she's so supportive. She's so loving. She's so smart. And so I love that because my mom was also that to me. And so I just really, really love his vibe, his energy. In this masterclass that we recently did, I guess I should do my highlight. In this masterclass that we did recently, he comes on, and I posted it about it on Instagram, but he comes on and he's just like, 
dancing and laughing and having a, the best time, taking shots. I mean, living his life, right? And just being so honest and being so awesome, right? But then when he gets down to business and he starts teaching us how to create this amazing look, he um, gets really serious and he's such a great teacher and you can tell that he takes it so personal and I love that. Like, you know what? We can be fun, we can be a little extra, but then be extremely professional and be serious about our craft. And so I really loved uh, to see that side to him. Um, he, always, he also was so open about like his upbringing and what he went through and um, you know how he got to where he was. And so I love people that have accomplished something in life and then are willing to share that with everybody. Like that's amazing. You know, it just shows such amazing character. So um, anyway, that's Angel Mac Daddy Marino and I love him, love him, love him, love him. Oh, you know what I love the most about him? When he was done doing all the highlight, he was like, guys, don't forget about the chin. So like me and him, we're kind of friends. He doesn't know it yet. We share similar makeup styles. Yeah. If you watch this, Mac Daddy, I love you. I think you are the real deal, honey. Okay, look at that blinding highlight, guys. Like, this is serious business. Like, you do not mess with this glow. Check it out. <laughs> My nose is a little too highlighty, but that's okay. The more, the better. Okay, moving on. The palette that we're featuring on our channels for the Hispanic Heritage Month video is the Supreme Nudes by Artist Couture. Don't wanna blind you. There it is. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette to use during the fall. Look at these colors. The pigment is there. The shimmers are incredible. The formula is very creamy, very blendable. I absolutely love it. Susanna said that I could use whatever shades, including shimmers, which I need in my life. So. Today, what I thought that we would do is create a really beautiful halo eye. I think when I look back at my video, I might cringe a little only because I've never done a video like this where I'm talking through not only my looks, but also a little bit of history on the brands. Again, like I told you guys earlier, uh, this video idea in the format in which I'm doing it was really inspired by my friend Rocio from Maquisienta. And let me know if this is something that you guys are interested in, like as I do my makeup, share a little bit about behind the brand, behind the founders, like how did this brand came to be? So if you're interested in more of the history of makeup, let me know. I do have my friend's blessing on doing today's video. I'm sure because she does them in Spanish, she would be okay with me doing them in English, but only if you guys wanna see them, but just wanted to throw that out there because I actually love doing the research. I love researching everything, so that's kind of how I got to YouTube. So anyway, so let's get started. I'm gonna go into this shade here and it's upside down, but it's nudist. And I'm actually not going to go straight into the eyes. I'm gonna use it in a way that I learned in my masterclass. So Mac Daddy does use this for shading and contouring quite a bit. Um, he doesn't have a bronzer or a contour kit in his brand yet. So I think that, you know, powders are powders. You can use them how you see fit. And I want to use it today to contour up my little nose a little bit. And one of the things that he taught is like, when you're doing a contour and you really want a snatched nose, kind of blend it into the eyebrow to make it look as one. And it really does give a different look. I never contour much, but I do like like that slimming effect that I get here. Maybe add a little bit more shadow here. And I'm using my BK201 brush to do that. Now we're gonna start on our eye look and I wanna start with this shade here which is eccentric. It's a lighter brown, a little mustardy. Again with my BK201 brush. And I'm going to start at the end and then just kind of with whatever's left on the brush go all the way in. I want to build a really nice arch for the halo that we are going to attempt to create. I'm next going to go into the shade Aesthetic right here. I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Worker 2 brush. It's a little bit chunkier and bigger, but I want to create that depth right away. And I'm going to just pat, 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 pat on the inside so I don't diffuse it towards the middle and then pat here. I'll diffuse in a little bit, but I just wanna pat it in. Now I'm gonna go in with my BK202 brush and I'm gonna to start to diffuse. 
I am very lightly connecting the arch with this darker color, but just a tiny little bit. Like when I go over the arch, I'm going very lightly. Look at how pretty that's already looking. So pretty. I'm gonna take my BK201 brush and go back into the first shade, which is eccentric, and just kind of further blow it out, just at the very top. We want it to be soft up there. I'm gonna just take my pinky, I'm gonna go into this green shimmer shade, which is Supreme, and I'm just gonna tightly, uh, very lightly tap, and start going in in the middle. Can you see that? We're gonna go back into the BK202, back into Aesthetic, and really just make sure that it's deep here on the inside and the out. Okay, so that's not light enough for me, so now I'm gonna go into Lavish, which is this goldy shimmer shade here. Again, just with my finger, I'm gonna take it on my finger and just go very lightly over the middle, just to bring a little bit of lightness back into that color. I have a little trick up my sleeve to really make that middle pop, so don't you worry about a thing, it's coming. What I'm doing with my chubby little fingers is making sure that this is blended to the matte colors. I'm not doing the best job, but we're gonna get there. Next, I'm gonna take a refer number 13, which is a small little blending brush. Go into the deepest shade, which is mink. I'm going to very lightly tap because it's extremely pigmented, okay? And I'm gonna go closer to the green. Really meld the green into the rest of the eye look there. And I want it to be darker on the inside and then diffuse out lighter, if I'm making any sense. So I'm just really placing the product there and then I'm gonna take my finger and really meld the colors together. So do you guys see that? Like the deepening that we're creating? I'm going to go in with my Sonia G Mini Booster into the shade Aesthetic, which was the second shade we used, and then I'm going to just lightly put it on the very outside and try to pull the whole thing together. Do you guys see how it's like, it's green, then it's deep, then it kind of blends out? I just finished up the other eye. I mean, it's kind of like a messy halo eye, but like, whatever, I'm not a makeup artist. I still like it, I think it's pretty. We're gonna make that middle pop in just a second. We're just gonna like really just go in there and just blow it out, blow it out, blow it out. I think that looks really, really nice. Ties in the whole look together. Now I have a really amazing product and I really love it and I'm so excited that I was in the masterclass because he taught us how to use it. I would never have purchased it because I just didn't know how to use it. I've never seen anybody use it on camera but I'm gonna show you how today. I'm talking about the Diamond Lights Finisher. It's this little box here. This is what the product looks like. And honestly, like, I feel like there's just not like a lot of explanation online on how to use it. When you're reading it, it honestly doesn't make that much sense. But in essence, it's like these little, let me see if you could see it. It's like these little pearlescent shades. And what it is, it's like these little micro pearls of product, okay? And so it's like, well, what does that do, right? It comes out really chunky like this and you're like, what? I don't want that on my face, but what you do is you put it on your skin and then very delicately you start blending it. And these little micro pearls of product will start to meld into the skin as you warm it up with your skin temperature and so you get this. So what it does is when you warm it up on your finger and you apply it on your eyes, it gives you like that wet look. So, let me show you what I mean. So, okay, this one has it, this one doesn't. Do you guys see? It has like a wet look now. Let me close my eyes so you can see both. I hope you can see it. So it gives like these pearlescent shift to the eye and now it looks wet. Like when I'm looking at it in my mirror, 
I still see the green. I don't necessarily see the white, sh the white glitter, but it looks wet to me now, at least here in person. I hope it's coming across that way on camera. So it gave it like this after shimmer effect. I hope the camera's picking it up, but in person, the eye look looks exactly the same, but now it looks like wet, like the lid looks wet. And I just love it. I think it's genius. Again, I would have never known how to use it had it not been for his masterclass. So very excited about that. I'm gonna go back into his earlier highlight, Conceited, or Illuminati, sorry, this is Illuminati. And I'm going to use my flat definer by Sonia G. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the highlight here on the brow bone and my inner corner highlight. So there we go, we created a really beautiful bronzy look. I love how it came out. I'm going to put some lashes on, some eyeliner, and then we'll come back and do lips and finish off the look. Okay guys, and I'm back. This is for the most part the completed look. All we need now is lips. And I was just gonna stick with my Artist Couture nude lipstick and the Artist Couture lip gloss when I remembered that Probably my prettiest lipstick aesthetically that I own is by the brand Hank and Henry. And I've showed this to you guys before, but like look at this packaging, you guys. It has sparkle everywhere. It has their logo here, which is the face of an owl. And it has like that Chanel packaging of the new Chanel holiday collection where you just kind of click it and it comes out. And this is the lipstick. It's a beautiful nude shade. And the actual lipstick doesn't have any sparkle in it, but when you turn it, let's see if I can, it has this really pretty sparkle, it's so cute. Okay, so this is by the brand Hank and Henry. Hank and Henry is a brand that I was introduced to through BoxyCharm when I used to have a subscription. And um, I absolutely fell in love with their blickety black eyeliner. It had uh, the most perfect brush tip. And I actually went to, uh, through like maybe two or three of those because it was just perfection. The brush is perfect. Well, when he was pre, when he had these lipsticks up for pre-order during the pre-sale, I definitely picked it up. I thought it was just beautiful. The shade is absolutely gorgeous, which you will see, but I wanted to share a little bit about the Hank and Henry brand. Henry Vasquez is the CEO and founder of Hank and Henry. I didn't really find what Hank was for. Maybe it's his partner. I couldn't really find what it was, but Henry Vasquez is the CEO and founder of the brand. He was born July 12th in 1985, so are those considered Leos? Because now Mac Daddy and Henry were both born within two days of each other. Well, two days and five years of each other. So, I mean, there was something special going on in the month of July. I don't think they're Leos, but it's the ones right before that. So anyway, very, very smart entrepreneurial spirits that these babies in July are. Another similarity with Henry is that he was an extremely hard, hard worker. He was raised by his grandparents and he did say in an interview once that his grandma Frances was his biggest inspiration for wanting to start his own business, for working so hard, where his work ethic comes from. He was one of 11 siblings. When he was just 16, he started working to help support his mom. His mom was dealing with a very difficult drug addiction and that he's very open about it. He actually has these really amazing Instagram and Facebook lives on Thursday nights. My friend Deanna DeVille actually told me about him and he's just hilarious. Like that guy is turned up on another level. He is so funny. He loves to just, even as a brand owner, come onto Facebook live, Instagram live, and just connect with his audience, which I think is amazing. He's super real about everything that he goes through in his life. And Recently, he's gotten very close to his mom, which you can just see the vibe in his whole aura. Like he's very, very excited about this connection again with his mom. He loves that they're in a good place and he talks about it. And so that's just so, so awesome to see like, you know, brand owners, people on the internet or not, like there's just real people that go through real things. And to just see somebody like continue to become a better and better person, that's always amazing. So I love to see that. He started working um, at actual at Mac, just like Mac Daddy. 
He, he started working at MAC. He worked there for five years. And during that time, he was sharpening up on his makeup artistry, learning a ton of information on the actual products, how to apply them, how to use them, how to use them on people, which is very different than just knowing about the product. And he learned a lot. After that, in 2013, he went on to work with 10 plus beauty brands and he was very strategic about what he was doing and so the reason that he was doing these things was because he wanted to learn everything that there was about branding about product development about packaging manufacturing transporting i mean he wanted to learn the entire business from the inside out and so he went on and learned a lot about a lot of different brands so from the get-go like he had a goal but he also had a strategy there was a method to his madness and he was being very intentional about what he, was, what he was doing when working for these brands, which I think is amazing because sometimes people will ask me like, well, what are you doing? Where are you going with this? And what, um, you know, I think I have a general plan and I can tell you that 99% of the things that you see me do, see me post or things that I talk to about my friends offline is uh, very intentional, very strategic. I sort of have an idea of what I want and um, sort of have an idea of how to get there and everything that I'm working on today really shows that, but I love that, you know, right from early on, he had a strategy to get to where he wanted to be. Let me start with my lips or else I won't end. And I'm gonna show you what a beautiful nude this is and I do believe that it can work on a lot of different skin tones. It's a cool tone nude, which I don't normally gravitate towards, but when you've done a lot, like on your eye look or highlight, like I clearly overdid my highlight, I think a muted lip is really pretty because you can really go understated with your lips. There's the color there. Really pretty, very creamy, so I love that. And then I'm gonna go in with my Artist Couture lip gloss in the shade Sugar Baby, so I can top that. And this is just a really beautiful pink. So it gives a really pretty, like that nude, just like your skin color. I love that, but with the eyes, I think it looks really pretty. I wanted to just share a little bit about all of these brands, how they came to be, like why they are so impactful and meaningful in our community, and maybe also share what I love about them, the products that I use, so that the next time that you're at Sephora or shopping online, you might consider giving them a try. Um, I think that I want to do a second part to this, which is focusing on Latina-owned brands that are more indie and smaller, maybe not well-known brands, I think that's important because the brands that we talked about today, they've worked extremely hard and they deserve all of the acknowledgement, um, but there's a bunch of other smaller brands that are trying really, really hard to make it and I think shining light on those people is important to me. And it should be important to everyone. Like we should always be open to giving these brands a try. So this was like my very imperfect way of wanting to honor all of the Latinos in the beauty community, really acknowledging them for their hard work and talking a little bit about Hispanic Heritage Month. I will leave some resources and different uh, content that I read regarding Hispanic Heritage Month. Today, it was just more about the beauty brands that are Latina owned, Latino owned, I should say. And um, just making sure that we stop for a second and that we recognize that they're in the mainstream beauty, but there's a ton of other people that are working their asses off to bring you top shelf quality products that you'll want to use one day. So thank you again, Susanna, for doing this collab with me. I did my best. I think that if I continue to practice these behind the brand stories and storytelling about the brand owners and founders and just their backstory, um, I'll get better at it. So if this is something that you're interested in, it could be any brand, just leave them down below in the comments. Um, I would love to learn more about behind the scenes and like how companies came to be. Again, all credit to Rocio at Maquisienta. She has been doing this series for quite some time in Spanish. She is really, really good at them, you guys. So if you have some time, please check out her channel. Thank you to everyone for sticking through this with me. I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, as imperfect as it is, I think it looks pretty. I mean, it's makeup. Uh, like, it's just pretty and it's fun anyway. So let me tell you who the winner of the Hourglass 
giveaway is. Okay, and so today we're picking the winner for the Hourglass giveaway, and how I chose a winner was by using a random name generator. And so the winner of the mini Hourglass quad and the Hourglass lip duo is Luann Thompson. Luann, please make sure and come and find me on Instagram. Send me a DM, let's connect, so that I can mail you your gift. Thank you to everyone. That was a 600 subscriber giveaway, and we're actually almost at 800 subscribers, which is just crazy. I really appreciate all of you. I love you all. Thank you for spending just a few minutes of your day with me three days a week, sometimes more. But we're building such an amazing community, and I just love you guys so much. I'm so appreciative. I'm still putting together the most epic, epic 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure and continue to share my videos with those that you think may like it. Please follow me on Instagram so that we can connect. Also Twitter, I'm trying to build my Twitter, so go follow me there. And I hope that you guys all have an amazing Sunday. I will leave all of the information for Kara's video down in the description box below. Her video's next, and she has mimosas and makeup on Sundays during brunch time. It's always a good time. She has a really cool video for you guys today. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!